Welcome back, viewers, to the game, My Colony. Since the last video, I've done some off-camera stuff, as you can see. As you can see, to the right of me, I now have some new options on building, while also losing some options. There are new buildings, such as the gold refinery, which makes the gold miner. The gold miner, what it does, once you build one, you can use this gold miner to harvest. This gold miner will then go out, just like these gold miners here, and go and harvest gold deposits, such as this. This right here is the gold mint. What the gold mint does is create money for you. Money is used to pay taxes. It could be used to do a whole lot of things. This building right here is a special particular building. It's called the chop shop. What you do with the chop shop is simple. To show you what happens, I'm going to build a forest rover that I don't need. You would take unused rovers, rovers that will not work anymore, like if you press harvest and they don't do anything, what you then do would press move, and then click on the chop shop. The rover will then go into the chop shop and become material for you. I now have a bunch of colonists now, each one of them having a job. This right here, the Advanced Hydroponic Center, requires workers operate and it makes a large amount of food. What you do to make one is simple. You click it. Click the area you want to build, and your builder bots will then build it for you. Builder bots come from this building here called the Small Vehicle Factory. You can build four different rovers with that. You can build a forest, water bot, builder bot, and gold miner. This right here, the ore refinery. On other maps, you would have a rover that you can build called the Ore Miner, but on this map, there is no ore mines. Now that we have a hydroponic center, let's build a small shelter to get some people to work. The small shelters house people, workers like this, colonists. In order to get more colonists, you use this landing pad right here. You can also use this landing pad to import some food, but as you can see, my storage is full. Why would I make get food if my storage is, make one of these if my storage is full? Well, just to show you guys what it does. Right here, the distillery. This converts food and water into rum. Rum is a very useful material here. So I'm going to click a distillery. And I'm going to build one off site right here. Why am I building one right there, you ask? Well, because I'm going to build a road there. As you can see, 
The BetterBots, they work very well together. I'm making such roads. Now that I have a distillery that no one works at yet, which can only hold two colonists to work at, I'm going to build a rum cellar. What the rum cellar does is simple. It's a storage rum. <laughs> we have this person hired to work at the distillery here. Now you can see that I deactivated my charcoal hoods. My reason for this is because while off camera, I ended up getting a lot of charcoal through part of my charter. The same with the wood. Which is why I think I don't have it in my building thing anymore. Eh. This right here, the small atmosphere generator. You build this and it will start terraforming your planet, creating atmosphere. As you can already see, I have a bit of atmosphere because there's other buildings that would also make atmosphere. This building right here, the small research lab, this creates research. Research is then used to make things like this, like the Advanced charcoal production or carnal finance theory. It just costs research points. In order to get research points, you have to have workers conducting research at the research lab. Now, here's something that you guys would like to see. Colonists. This tells how many colonists you have, tells how many deaths, how old your colonists are, is, of the oldest and the average age. This tells how much it takes for your colonists to retire. Job reports tells how many who's at work and how many jobs are filled, how many could be filled and who and has filled. Healthcare. We'll be getting to that later once I uh, get go and start building hospitals. Education. This is part of the new update because the update eaters, the creators of this game, are planning to be put in schools and they added an IQ for each colonist. So far the IQ doesn't mean anything though. Vacancies tell how many how much space you have as in there's only two Well, the, now there's only one vacancy, only one place, one more resident to add. Approval rating. Zero colonists are leaving. This part is very, very important. If your colonists start protesting, they will stop working. They can get very sick if they stop working. Also, they can also protest because they're sick, but then refuse to go to a hospital. This right here, the authorage relations. As long as I keep paying my taxes to my the leader of my charter, the trade remains open, immigration remains open. This red part, independence costs. This costs a material called civics. This will be done. This would be said in a later episode. If you guys want me to show you what I mean with independence, please say in the comments and I could show you my main base that is going to be becoming independent very soon. As we can see with the resources here. This tells you many different resources. The small research lab gives you 
two inflows of research. The atmosphere, as you can see, I'm getting inflows from the charcoal compactor, the charcoal burner, or refinery, small vehicle factory, gold refinery, and gold mint. These produce a small bit of atmosphere. My gold comes to is being harvested, but the gold mint takes a little bit of gold to make coins. Steel, my inflows 20 from coming from the ore refinery. As you can see by this graph, how it went up and then down, that's because certain a lot of buildings are made with steel. Outfloor is a store of for this ore refinery. The reason why the you get that? The ore refinery refines your ore into steel. My charcoal compactor is doing very well for that. My charcoal has been going down. Which is what I wanted to do. I have zero inflows because I turned off the turned off the wood huts. As you can see. The charcoal hut, they've been turned off. Now my wood. I have zero inflow, zero outflow. I'm going to have to change that soon. My cash. Inflows, 14. Due to the gold mint. The graph is like this because of the way the taxes are. The more successful, the higher the tax. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to build four more of these forest rovers. And go tell them the harvest. This right here, this building here, is called the silo. It helps store more food. Oh, there's my water wells. As you can see, now I got the charcoal hut and water well back. The reason why I didn't have them before it's because I didn't have my forest rovers with me. And as for a matter of fact, I'm going to build a little bit more water wells. Water is very important. This building here, the wood hut. A small wood shelter for two. Not the most comfortable place to live, but it is cheap and gets the job done. It only costs 175 wood. While the small shelter costs 200 ore. This building right here, the golden shelter, on my computer here, I do not have premium. This is why I cannot select the golden shelter, nor can I select the checkered payments. Which is fine by me. I do, however, have the premium on my phone. This right here, solar t tower, this generates 45 electricity. So, if I were to deactivate all these small guys, this is what happens when you don't have enough power. Things shut down. As you can see, it said low power, right? Before. Because now I'm using 65 power when I don't have any power. If I were to activate these two, I would have enough power. I would activate all these. Just to have a lot of power. Research. 
as I said before, as my research points go up, the closer you can get to more research, which is very good. This right here, resource of pond, water. My water bots will go to these and take a bit from it and add more. The reason why these aren't being built is simple. My forest rovers currently are harvesting. I'm going to be building another forest rover just off to this, for the side right here. Just for the simple use of now building those again. As you can see, only the forest rover can build water wells. This right here, water tanks, help make hold water. As you can see. <sighs> this right here, the internet booth, relay booth. This is to allow your population, your colonists, not to get angry at you. It is free and only allows two people in at a time. It is free for the colonists. It provides entertainment. Now, you don't always have to build exactly the way I'm building. I just have my own way of building things. So, once you have enough research for something, as, as you can see, I have 49 research. Once this goes up to 50 research, as you can now see, I can unlock a new production, the Advanced Charcoal Production. Once I click that, my research went all the way down, but as you can see, I now have a new building, the Charcoal Factory. This Charcoal Factory uses 7 power while also hiring 4 workers. It is the same concept as the Charcoal Huts, but it does it way better. It would cost 500 steel just to make one of these. My next research that I'm going to be doing is the advanced small scale construction. This unlocks new building methods and new vehicles for creating new structures and vehicles. This is very important. As you can see, I have regular builder bots. Well, once I get the advanced small sales destruction, you get more than just these builder bots, you'll get the advanced builder bots. Now, if you have low power, certain rovers tend to shut down. So it's always good to use this to check. The only reason why there's four 
Ferris Rover's idle due to me just building it and having it for reasons of building, you know? In order to get faster research done, you can always build more research labs. As you can see right here. Each research lab costs 1,800 or also costs 80 steel each and 25 gold. Now, if I were to change this guy's job, you will see something. His clothing will change depending on the job he gets. As you now see, he has a purple Their clothing changes for when they change jobs. Certain buildings can not doesn't have to have a worker in them, but it is good to have workers in them. They would still produce and all that. But some buildings, such as the research lab, would not produce unless they have a worker. Buildings such as Waterwell, they don't need workers, they just produce. Buildings such as uh, Solar Tower, you don't see a progress bar for them producing, but you know they are producing when you see the power that they make. To show you what the small atmospheric generator does is pretty simple. Now, as you can see, I ran out of steel. No big deal. It just means I can't build certain things now, as you can see. My steel will go up momentarily, though. In order to help increase steel production, you can make more ore refineries. Which is very helpful. The ore refinery is one of those that you don't need workers in but it's good to have them in. This will still produce more steel for you at all times. Speaking of workers, I'm going to be making another row of houses here. The reason why for this is so that I can have some more people that would work. As you can see, the builder bots say choose what they want to build and how they would build it. I can now hold 44 people, yet I only have 23. I would have to wait for this building here, the landing pod, to fill its progress bar. Once the progress bar there, 
is filled, you get more kindness coming to you. And now to show you what this atmospheric generator does. I'm building this off site to be right here. Now these are saying harvesting, but the reason why they're not harvesting is simple. It's because I have a little bit too much wood at the moment. But I also have the small atmospheric generator does have its perks once you have a high enough atmosphere. You can actually build new objects. New Buildings can be built only if you have a high enough atmosphere. I'm going to actually be putting these rovers. to the side here, these forest rovers, due to the fact that I don't need wood at the moment. So I'm going to have them all be right here. By designating a parking spot for them, They will return there after each build, and after, which is very, very helpful. What I'm going to have these forest rovers do is pretty simple. I'm going to show you what it is to build trees. By building that line of trees, you actually get more wood out of them because you would have more trees. Each tree costs 20 water, which is easily for me affordable. Once they are done building, if they have a parking spot designated, they will go to that parking spot. As you can see, I'm building some more charcoal compactors. Both the builder bots, these building rover, the builder bots, and the forest rovers can build the charcoal compactor. It's just who happens to be closest. The reason why I'm building more is so that I can turn this charcoal into some more ore for me.
So as you can see here, this is the colonel website. Once you have the colonist, your game my colony, you will get a colonist website. This code right here is your charter code. Once you become independent and make a chart, you can have and gain your independence. You can actually make have a commonwealth, which people would use your charter code to be under a charter in your name, basically. As I'm under a charter to Atheridge, I've used his charter code to be connected to his commonwealth. I know his charter code from my previous base, which is also connected. As you can see right here, I have one colonist angry. I'm going to be checking his stats. His happiness is only at 7. To help with that, you can give a gift. Normally, 300 gold makes Connus super happy. I'm also, on the other hand, going to change this guy's job. Give him one that he might actually want. This is very, very important because if they were to begin protesting and losing health, you lose out on, produ on your production. You do not want to be losing out on production, that's for sure, and you do not want to be losing your colonists. As you can now see, as you can now see, I am very close to becoming to the advanced small scale construction. This is going to unlock a lot of new things here for me to show you. As of right now, I can build a tree farm. This will raise your trees and harvest them for lumber. This is very good. I can now build at the small vehicle factory an advanced builder bot. This now unlocks some new things for me like the durable goods warehouse or the residential complex. This residential complex will give you 26 people the advanced ore refinery makes it the ore refinery work even better. This fountain is just for decoration. Honestly, I do not like wasting water. The durable goods warehouse. This provides extra storage for a range of durable and manufactured goods. This is very good for you. The green dome. Another free thing right here which allows you to make your colonists happy. Hardened payment. This allows very fast vehicle travel. In order to do that you just upgrade. As you can see here, if I were to upgrade this, it would become faster. If I were to upgrade all, you would get a little bit of lag depending but as you can see now that there, my roads have all disappeared besides for the ones that are being made right now. So now my rovers are moving slow except if they go onto this new road right here which is super fast. This, super, this road allows them to travel at super fast speeds. But don't worry, they won't hurt your colonists. You can also have a water tower. This is very, very nice. 
they can store a large amount of water for you. Which is that simple. Now the ore refineries. I still have no build options because eh, he has no build options. Sometimes your rovers can get a little confused, but eventually they get their job done. As you can see now, it moved really fast. Until it got to an area that it hasn't built yet. This is one of the reasons why you don't really press upgrade at all unless you have all the material necessary. As you can see now, I do not have enough steel, which means this cannot be built. So in order for my guys to have roads, I'm going to go back to the mold path here. In order for them to have some roads, I would be upgrading those roads later, those patches later. This will also show you the difference between the speed of certain of them. This way I'll still have a bit of road for them. It is smoother. As you can see right here, this says that another one of my friends from my commonwealth is online. As you can see, this is their base right here. This is this shows how well they have grown within a a different world. This could very well be the full forest world as well, to be honest. Now that I have some more steel, I can upgrade a portion of my road. By doing so, it completes the look. You can also see a difference between these roads. As you can see, the moving a little bit faster here, but then super fast here. You see a speed difference. But when they don't have a road, as you can see, they slow down considerably.
Now this right here, the wall. This helps with guiding your bot traffic. It is a lot of areas for decoration or to organize your county, basically. As you can see, I'm always constantly checking to see how my approval rating is. This is very good if we have it at 100%. So I now believe I have enough steel to upgrade the rest of my road. I can press upgrade all. So that out correct. Now there are certain things that you can do with it. This right here, which costs 1,000 steel, would give you 26 more colonists. This is only built by the advanced builder bot. This is right here. The green dome. Also costs 1,000 steel. This just provides entertainment. Right here, the green dome. It costs 350 steel. This right here, the ore refinery. It costs 600 steel, but this thing makes a lot more steel for you. Water towers are basically an improvement to the water tank. The tree farm costs six thousand water. This raises and tree these raise this raises trees for you and then turns them into lumber. So that would mean it would make trees that my rovers wouldn't have to cut down because it would already be growing and then cutting them down for you. As you can see, I'm occasionally getting more and more colonists from time to time, all from this landing pad. To be honest, one can always get more ore just by charcoal. If you have too much charcoal, why not use it to get more ore? <laughs> you can never have enough ore. As you can see now, my charcoal is going down considerably. Considerably enough, as you can see now. I would soon have to reactivate my charcoal huts just to produce charcoal.
Now, Charcoal Huts can only be made by the fourth rover. On this map, of course. I am now reactivating my Charcoal Huts. As I can see, this was a little bit too much for them for it to be to bear. So now I'm doing select activate eating so I can still produce my still produce my worm. Or I can be very simple by producing some more charcoal huts. As you can see now, my charcoal is depleted. Now that my chart is actually depleted, I can actually show you guys my main base and show you something that commonwealths can do. So if I were to press save colony, which would save my game, and then press return to title. Reason why I do that is simple. I'm going to load up the original Okami right here. This is my base. My original base of how well it has been done. This is on a red planet base. So for a very long time it took me to actually even get these tree farms. This base as you can see has civics which I'm going to be very close to be declaring independence soon. That. Now, in order to send to, or in order to send resources to your common to Commonwealth, you can simply do this: send gift. I'm going to be sending charcoal. Three thousand. And then OK says resources sent, which is very, very simple for me to do. And I still have a bit of charcoal. I could also send some more wood if I wanted to. The only thing you can't send is research, though I wish you could. As you see, my atmosphere here is a lot higher than on my forest world, and it's not all because of these medium generators here. I have a lot of things that produce atmosphere, which let's go now back to the Okami the second, the forest world, because this is a tutorial to the forest world. I always tend to save twice because it just saves automatically whenever you go to title. But I always make sure to have a saved game just in case. So I go back to load colony and go back. As you can see, I have not received my charcoal just yet. It would Give me my charcoal a little while later, which should be fine. 
I'm actually going to deactivate these all and reactivate them but only on select as it now says new gifts available I'm going to use the touch screen for that I now have a lot more charcoal which then runs by very quickly with the amount of that so now Now that I'm activating some, you can see now that I have a new thing right here called rum. That's because finally I got some people working here. Rum is useful. I can now do the colonial finance theory. The concept of money is now something that's new. I can now have a mass driver. This lets me exchange goods for money. Requires 4,500 steel, but that's fine by me. I also have a new thing called the steel yard. This use stores a mass amount of steel for later use and generates money as well. Of course, it costs 1,000 steel to get. This unemployer right here that's zero is good. You want them that to be at zero because that means no one has no job. Like unemployment, you want at zero. You want them all to have employment, to be employed. My water fluctuates from up and down because water is used for distillery and water is also used for the advanced hyperponic center. As a lot of people are now going into getting jobs at my research facilities, my research goes up quite a bit. Now the advanced ore refinery costs 600 steel, a bit cheaper than the steel yard in my opinion, and just as effective. I can now actually build large silos, so I'm going to upgrade the two of them because I, I only have two. This holds allows me to hold a lot more food. I 
as I can now hold 3,400 food, which is very good for me. I can actually build now some more potato patches just for this reason. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe and comment on what you guys want to see on questions that you guys want answered and what, and what more content you want me to see. I also, as you can see, play different games such as Conflict of Nations Modern War and will take certain requests. Until then, see you next time.